Well, good afternoon to everybody who's joining us live on Supersport Blitz and on Supersport 1 for this uh, incredibly important announcement. And uh, it is going to be the first time that we get to see the names that will take to the field for the Springboks as they prepare to face the French in a three-test castle logger inbound series. There'll also be another team named, and that's the South Africa A team that will take on the French Barbarians in three matches as well. Uh, absolutely a, a pleasure and an honor to have in the studio with us. Um, Alistair could see the Springboks coach Mark Alexander, president of the South African Rugby Union. And before we get cracking, I know that time is off the essence. I just wanted to ask you, coach, you've just concluded your third and final camp before the international window. You've had um, quite a lot of players through uh, the turnstiles, as it were. Um, was that an easy thing to do, or did it make your selection process even more complicated, having so many names no, available? Thanks for the opportunity, uh, Kola. I think it it was an, a necessary thing to, to do. I think when I look back last year, this time, um, we haven't had a single camp. Um, this time around, we, I had a look at so many players and, and having a closer look at players, you actually get a different opinion when you work with the players. And some players have really stepped up at the training camps. And it's not just a camp where they came and, and tried to see what the, the box are doing. It, it's guys really sort of pushed for, for positions. And up until early this morning, you know, I was um, uh, uncertain on one or two positions. But, uh, you know, at the conclusion of the camp, I was 100% certain that it is the right choice. Yeah, well, to put that in perspective, um, last year this time you'd only been a uh, Springbok coach for less than a month, I believe. Uh, so you've had a lot more time uh, to, to prepare. And without further ado, knowing uh, just how many people are eagerly anticipating, Mark, uh, the announcement of the team, I'm going to hand over to you to uh, announce first the Springbok team and then the South African A squad. And you're going to go forwards and then backs in alphabetical order. That's over to you, Mark. Thank you. The Springbok squad uh, for the Castle Lager incoming series in the alphabetical order are forwards, Lord Tiaga, Peter Steph de Toy, Juan Dreyer, Urban Etzebeth, Stephen Kutsov, Sia Colisi, Jak O'Krill, Franz Malerba, Malcolm Marx, Bongi Manambi, Opam Hoje, Franco Mostard, Tande Bista Waria, Lisu Guboka, Kuni Wastazen, Chili Boy Ramapella, Dwayne Vermeulen, Warren Whiteley. The backs are Lokanya Am, Andres Kutsia, Ross Cronier. Damien Delindy, Francois Ochard, Elton Yankees, Jesse Creel, Dylan Leitz, Rudy Page, Raymond Rule, Jan Serfentin, Cortles Cosan, Franz, Franz Stein, the SA. Well, I just wanted to mention right there that uh, that is confirmation of uh, the names uh, that will make up the Springbok squad. And we move on now, Mark, uh, to the South Africa A team that will take on the French Barbarians. And the team is uh, forwards. Ruan Bota, Azir Kasim, Chris Kluti, Thomas Tutoy, Andris Ferreira, Jason Jenkins, Wilco Lowe, Jean-Luc Dupré, Franco Marais, Oxen Che, Kumbuzu Noche, Antisa Nchila, Trevor Nakani, Ramon Samuels, The Backs, Ron Combrink, Lionel Cronier, Jean Dion, Warren Galant, Makazolo Mpimpi, Lionel Mapo, Dievald Dievenaga, Jambo Lengo, Francois Fenter, Jano Vermaak, Errol Foster, Fred Zellinger. Those are the teams. 
Thank you very much for that. So confirmation then of the two teams, the two squads. Uh, there's also another very important announcement that I know a lot of people have been eagerly awaiting because we know, of course, that uh, the former Springbok captain Adrian Strauss announced his retirement last year from international rugby. So it means that this year the box get a new captain. Uh, but before I get um, Alistair to announce his new captain, a quick one for you, um, Mark. Uh, we saw not too long ago the announcement or uh, confirmation of the draw for the World Cup in Japan in 2019. I assume that there's been a lot of um, talking between yourselves as administrators, the coaching staff, about the planning and understanding that a lot of these names uh, will be available to represent South Africa at the next World Cup. How important is it that this team reflects the ambitions um, of the next World Cup? I think this team reflects what we presented in our, our transformation um, uh, targets with government. Uh, we're on track. We're very happy what's happening with the national team. We certainly hope we can have a better picture with the, with the Vodacom Super Rugby teams. You know, the, the, the team looks good and we're happy where we are. Right. Well, Alistair, over to you, coach. Um, we have been eagerly anticipating the announcement of your new captain and I'm pretty sure uh, it's a decision that doesn't come easily that you would have thought long and hard about. Um, coach, who's your captain? Yeah, I must say uh, it's a great honour and a privilege to announce Warren Whiteley as the captain for the incoming series against uh, uh, the French. Uh, I must also add that Warren, uh, in a tough season last year, whenever Adrian Strauss, uh, Adrian Strauss wasn't on the field, he has captained the side. So it was uh, actually not a difficult decision to make Warren the captain. And I think what we need to understand is uh, that there should be a, s a certain picture of what a captain should be like when it comes to leading a South African a Springbok side. A characteristic of a man that has walked the walk, uh, a man that has really paid his dues and his school fees, and uh, a man that uh, will make sure to, to glue a very young Springbok side together and, uh, and, and, you know, with some experience around him and make sure that we get the results. So it's really an honour for me to be able to embark on this journey against the French with our new captain, Warren Whiteley. And I suppose the team itself, the selection of your captain, also speaks to the ambitions of, uh, of South African rugby to ensure that it's local-based players uh, who get uh, the, uh, the inside lane on, on Springbok selection. Yeah, look, we... <sighs> When there's a transition in any team, normally what happens is your senior players that finish first. And with your senior players, go the leadership. And, uh, you know, I'm fortunate to have in the squad, as we saw, players like Warren, player like Dwayne Vermeulen, a player like Eben Etzebeth and Asia Kulisi, who can step up and take over the leadership roles going forward and supporting Warren. So uh, from that point of view, I'm really uh, uh, relieved in a way. Guys who can cope under pressure. Warren, a question for you. Um, I'm sure it's uh, probably still sinking in. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how long ago the announcement was made to you by the coach, uh, but this must be beyond your wildest dreams as a South African rugby player. It is. Um, in fact, I, s I spoke to my wife last night. Um, I only knew last night, had a meeting with coach. And in fact, I mean, it's such a big occasion. I have never dreamt about this. I, I honestly <laughs> didn't think it would ever be possible. So um, grateful more than anything um, and excited, really excited. I'm sure uh, making it slightly easier will be the fact that you will be surrounded by one or two guys who have been through the Springbok Mill that have got a couple of tests uh, caps under the belt. Uh, there is a, a leadership group that you can rely on. Definitely, and that's really important. Um, you know, to have a guy like Duane, He's played in many tests. Um, a guy like Evan, who's over 50 tests. Um, you know, a guy like Sia. I mean, they're, they're a number of players um, with great experience and have been through it all and that I can still learn from every single day. And that's what's, what's important. You know, I'm not, I'm not there to, you know, to be the be-all and send-all. Um, you know, I just, I just want to do what I usually do. I don't want to change as a person. I'm just going to be myself. We certainly don't want you to change either, Warren Whiteley. Congratulations. It's a, an absolutely wonderful um, occasion and moment, I suppose, uh, for, for him. Before we confirm for the viewers at home, um, or, uh, finally, the last, uh, the teams or the names. Um, Alistair, you've got uh, 18 days until that first test match uh, as we take a look at uh, some of those uh, faces and names, starting with the forwards for the Springbok uh, squad to take on the French in the Castle Lager inbound test series. Uh, you've only got 18 days, two and a half weeks, almost. 
against uh, before this first match. Are you happy with the preparations? We spoke about the time that you had uh, this year as opposed to last. Yeah, what is uh, satisfying and pleasing is that we much better off than what we were last year. First of all, you know, you can only select 31 players in a squad. And there are certain players who are really unlucky not to have made it. But there is a plan for those players and, and they know, um, you know, that uh, we've got a series to play, we've got to win, we've got to make sure that we improve our game. And uh, the three camps, it was really a great uh, cooperation with the franchise CEOs and coaches to have had you know this as part of South African system without this I mean it, it's, it's not possible so I'm really glad that you've had the camps glad that I could have you know thrown the net a bit wider and looked at players so we're much better off uh, this time than last year and I think uh, the next week when we get together on the 29th yeah. uh, we can put last pieces of the puzzle together. Let's also confirm um, once again for the benefit of our viewers the names that will make up the South Africa A team that will take on the French Barbarians in three matches. How easily movable are these players upwards, coach? Um, is it literally once an injury occurs you can call on any of these names or are they a separate entity and should operate as such um, for now? No, 100%. I think that's the whole idea around this. Is We have spoken about a South African DNA that you want to get back into Springbok rugby. What is good about South African rugby and we should stick to that and get it back. So if you have an A squad and a, and, and a Springbok squad, then surely what happens in the A squad must happen in the B squad. And I've had already a chat uh, to Johan Ackerman and uh, we, we will do very similar things. Uh, and he will be part of, of the team selection with that squad and we will discuss players. And that has happened also with the uh, uh, great thing about the Indaba, where I was interactive and, and the Springbok coaching staff with the franchise coaches to discuss certain fundamentals of the game that we need to improve uh, and see that happening at national level. So, uh, you know, uh, definitely there is merit not to go outside an SAA side yeah. to, 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 to leapfrog those guys when it, uh, uh, we need that and in, in the Springbok squad, it will come from the SA side. So an opportunity for a lot of youngsters who find themselves in that uh, South Africa A squad uh, and uh, eight uh, uncapped players in the Springbok squad to take on the French as well. Uh, and there are a number of uh, players who were unavailable due to injury and I'm pretty sure that they are still in the coach's reckoning and uh, a close eye will be kept on them from a medical point of view. Thank you very much for joining us at home. Thank you to our guests in studio as well. To Warren, once again, hearty congratulations. We wish you all the best. It's not going to be easy. The French never are easy to beat. Uh, so a wonderful first up test and challenge for you uh, as Springbok uh, uh, captain. And thank you once again, Alistair and Mark, uh, for the announcement. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your day.